The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB, is celebrating 39 years of maintaining the stability of the EC currency and unwavering service to the government and people of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union. To mark its 39th anniversary, the management staff, retirees, and well-wishers of the ECCB joined the congregation at the Pentecostal Church of God, St. Kitts, on October 2nd for divine worship. During his address at the service, the governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, Timothy Antoine, paid tribute to the founders, framers, and all others who had contributed to the stability that the ECCB brings to the region. And I could not help but pay tribute to all of our founders and framers, people like Sir Cecil Jacobs, and Sir Dwight Venner, and Sir Errol Allen, and many others, some of whom have retired and are still here, and some have gone on. And I want to just recognize all those who have contributed to the stability that the ECCB brings to us. Many of us take the stability for granted because all we know is one EC dollar, one US dollar, 2.7 EC dollar. And we've known that for years, all our lives. We forget when there was a time when it was not like that. That decision was made in July 1976. And because of that decision, we are enjoying stability. And until recently, relatively low inflation. And I know right now inflation is top of mind for all of us, but inflation will eventually get back under control. He also encouraged citizens and residents of the ECCU to participate in ventures that promote wealth creation, which he says is an important step to personal, national, and financial resilience. Governor Antoine advised that investing in the regional and international stock markets is one pathway to wealth creation. The ECCB was established on October 1, 1983, as the Monetary Authority for Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, Commonwealth of Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.